And finally, it was party time last night in Newport, Republican party time that is, as Sullivan County members gathered to celebrate the founder of the Republican Party. A full house was there this year in anticipation of hearing from seven presidential candidates or representatives and two of their own as announced candidates for the governor's corner office in Concord. The evening was led off by the chair of the New Hampshire Republican Party, encouraging the faithful toward election success, followed by pitches by and for candidates, which solidified a theme for the evening that echoed the chairs. This is the Amos Tuck dinner. Amos Tuck was a disgruntled Democrat who in 1852 decided he couldn't abide by their slavery position anymore and went looking for a new party. He couldn't find one, so in 1853 he held a meeting in Exeter, New Hampshire and coined the term Republican. And then a year later, they officially formed the party and six years later elected a president. So New Hampshire is actually the birthplace of the Republican Party and tonight we honor Amos Tuck. I, you know, I'm just here very quickly to say thank you. Thank you so much for everything that all of you are doing every day to advance, to promote, to preserve Republican principles in the great state of New Hampshire and everything I know that you're going to do going forward into this next election cycle. We've got a lot of work out there ahead of us right now and a lot of, lot of important work to be done. I just want you to spend a couple of seconds thinking about whether or not you're comfortable with the phrase Senator Maggie Hassan. Right, exactly. That's our job, is to make sure that that does not happen, that that never happens. We've got to make sure New Hampshire goes red for the White House. We've got to make sure that we protect Senator Kelly Ayotte, send her back to Washington to continue to work for us the way that she has been for the last six years, and that we let elect a whole slate of Republicans out here in Sullivan County. It's not just about winning an election. It's not just about the future of our party. This is about the future of our country. The future of this country, of our republic, constitutional republic that Benjamin Franklin gave us in 1789, hinges on us. Senators, representatives, and all of you who labor. Over the last 18 years, there has been one, one Republican governor. We have some 400 days to next November, just shy of 400 days. That's a lot of time to keep up momentum and energy, but we can do it. We've done it before. We did now, 10 presidential campaigns and two for governor echoed the tone of the evening that there is work to be done. Now, there may be another party out there that has similar aspirations, but that is why we have elections. Nonetheless, congratulations to Steve Smith and the Sullivan County Republican Party in bringing candidates to our neck of the woods.